It's now 6.30 a.m. and I'm all ready to go from Koh Samui, Thailand to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And I'm looking forward to this. And I am gonna do a vlog of showing you some of the things that I'm getting up to and just my trip there. And what I'm also gonna do at the same time is just try have a positive, inspirational, motivational effect on you and get you to just realize a lot of things that could actually benefit you in so many different areas of life and within your own human experience. So if you wanna join me on this ride, and gain all of that and much more. Make sure you watch this video from start to finish. Finish, not finish. Taxi's here, so we're gonna get going. Time to use a self-check-in and get myself a boarding pass and go straight through. I never, ever, ever, wherever I travel, even if I'm traveling halfway around the world, even if I'm moving to a country, I never have checked in luggage. I always just have a rucksack such as this size, even when I moved to Thailand four years ago, I did exactly the same thing. So yeah, let's get on and get this boarding pass. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Grab. sir. All ready to go. Couldn't actually check myself in because Nock was meant to be coming with me, my ex-girlfriend, and I couldn't check in because I wanted her passport details as well. So then I had to go to a counter and they did it. As with many things in life, we may not understand and see why something's happening, but a lot of time there is, the majority of time, a very, very positive reason for something happening. It just depends whether you see things like that and you can take that perception with anything in life. The choice is yours. Just landed in Phuket, worked on my laptop, editing the vlog from yesterday, and the flight was an hour, but it seemed like 10 minutes to me. Because I was doing something that I love to do, time just flew by, so it was really good. Checked in with our airline, Malaysian airline. But yeah, I'll catch you on the other side when we get to Kuala Lumpur, and we're gonna teleport there. And that is my magic trick for the day. Did you know that I could teleport? I only worked that out recently, thought I'd give it a try. We're now here in Kuala Lumpur. It is raining, it's quite, dark out and still not eaten which is all good and my lovely friend Jin is here and her son Forrest as well turns out that they were doing a visa run on the same time as me because they've run out at the same time as mine so we're gonna go on a doing adventure together and just a whole adventure in Kuala Lumpur together and I'm really looking forward to it because I connect really well with her and her son we're gonna see what the rest of the day brings you're not gonna do too much because we need to take it easy but yeah very happy to be here what are these clowns up to <laughs> you know, your head might burst, or the balloon, one or the other. <laughs> Look how small that hand is. So tiny. That is surreal. I look like a giant. So tiny. So tiny. So tiny. So I'll give you a quick tour of the room. It's really, really small, as you can see, but it's quite clean in here to me. It's pretty good. My stuff's everywhere. Didn't come with a MacBook and work there, which is good. No windows, not the best, but yeah. But it's pretty good. And this is around $18 a night. It's not on the cheapest end of the scale. It's actually about mid-range, actually a three-star place. I'm hardly gonna be in here. We're gonna go on our way out of the hotel and maybe go to a place that does juices or something, or maybe go for doing. We're gonna see, let's go. Buddy there? Yeah. Who? Who's that knocking at my door? Who are you? Ah! I'm so proud. <laughs> Ta da! Yeah. Came to KLC shopping mall because we want to go to Village Grocer and get some juice and some other things. And look at these skyscraper buildings. You can tell when you're in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, this is a really, really big, busy place. For an Asian country, it's very developed. Let's go inside and have a look. Can you hear that? It's a very Muslim country, which is all good. <laughs> 
they have designed this place really well to draw children in. There's like those card things everywhere. The amount that Fofo has stopped at is so many for understandable reasons. And something I wanted to mention is something that could have a really positive effect on your whole human experience in your life, which is checking out an audio book that I have listened to the most time and time again. It's also in readable book form as well, called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. He's actually the publisher of Success Magazine, which is the biggest entrepreneurial, you could say success magazine that interviews the most successful people around the world and shares you how to be successful. What they share with you in the compound effect, which has helped me so much, and I listen to this many, many times a year, is it tells you how to be successful in any area of life and not in very difficult, challenging ways that are very complex. It's really simple. So it's easy for anyone to understand and put into practice and it's helped me achieve so many things like living my dream life every single day, getting to pursue YouTube as a full-time career, so many other things as well. Well, so if you haven't checked that out, I'll put some links down below for it and I highly recommend you check it out and listen to it on a regular basis and just put into action what they say because I'm telling you now, it works so well. And there's so many people telling you to do this thing, that thing, that thing, trying to sell you so many different books and things that don't work, but this is one of them that does work. It's not some sales gimmick or some garbage that's not going to work at all. So definitely go and check that out. This place looking for ice team. There's also something called cold storage, but this one's way better. I've got so much good stuff in here. We're going to have a little all browse around and see what they've got for us to munch on. And this is something that I really, really want. I've had these before. They do raw, cold-pressed juices. I want some green juice and maybe another one as well. So you'll see which one we want. And it's like a colourful rainbow here. And yeah, it's gonna make me feel really, really good. I got these two juices, and they are a good variety of different things that are gonna flood my body with abundance of vitamins and minerals to just make me feel so alive. And this is raw, so it's a live food that's gonna make me feel alive. And one of them's got turmeric, carrot, pineapple, and the other one's spinach, celery, cucumber, apple, and lemon. Really good combination. So we try these in a short while. And she got some hiding over there. We'll see what she's got in a minute, we'll show you. I was gonna show you what she had, but then <laughs> somebody working in there was like, no, you can't film at all. So at least I've got to film a little bit. I'm gonna try this green one. And Fofo spotted dates. They have some of the best dates ever, and they're really cheap price as well. Very strong in all the flavors. That is like juice that I used to make at home years ago when I used to juice things. And then we're gonna try this one. Give it a good shake. Wow. Man, who needs 50 drinks when you can just have stuff like this? Doing a quick voiceover for these because it was very loud in the background noise. These are red DACA bananas, very rare bananas to find. They're not grown in mass production at all and they're one of my favourite in the whole entire world. Watch out, there's a child about! <laughs> What juice did you just drink? Did you get the same green juice as me, I think? Yes, I did. Yeah, and what the other one? Mango. mango lover. Oh. That's the one, Fofo juice. Orange lemon. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Woo! Juice on the floor. <laughs> What's in here? That's a yummy box of Can dates. Can we have a look? Okay. Yep. Look at those ooey gooey stickiness. Yeah. Keto people would die to get those. <laughs> We have arrived! We're at the most famous Korean stall in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and one of the most famous in the world, to be honest. So, we're going to give you a quick show of the durians and also these coconuts. Look! Coconuts everywhere in abundance. And more coconuts. And there's so many different durian varieties. You know, there's durian down there, down there. It is in abundance everywhere. And they do a durian buffet. Jumps in the area after. And there's the boss. This is the boss. We know who the boss is. <laughs> and then more here. Yeah, so loads of good stuff. We also have durian in there and Musang King ice cream, which is 100% Musang King pureed into ice cream. Okay. Today buffet Musang King 68 one person. Come here. <laughs> right. 
So Five Five just ordered all of these three sang king. Five Five, are you ready for it? I'm ready for fairies. You, you want some? Are you ready for durian? Look at all that durian in front of you. So look at all these things. I'm ready for durian oh, boats. For durian boats. And yeah, look. Just absolutely the fly, really the flies one. everywhere. A, A grade blue. That one. <laughs> this one. And this is the first time. This one? This one. That. Bye. 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 I am here. Do you want to try some? Yes. Close your eyes when you eat it and really focus <sighs> upon the taste. Okay. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> oh, the bubble, everything's a toy. <laughs> wow. I'll take it out! That pot is some of the thickest, creamiest Moose Sang King I've ever had. I suppose I like durian, but it seems that because there's so much durian everywhere, <laughs> he's turned them into boats. <laughs> And when children find something fun to do, they have no interest in food. It's like, food? <laughs> also, we had a pile of durian last night. I think you're durian out. <laughs> that one! Wow, that one tastes like vanilla pudding. I think. It's like each pod can be different in the mm -hmm. whole durian. You want some yeah. vanilla pudding? Yeah. Totally. Are you hungry? No. <laughs> you just like to play with the boats. And yeah, this is only solid food today. Bobo's getting in on the camera action there. We had the juices and that's it. Bobo's having the Moose and King durian ice cream. Does it taste good? Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. She needs to catch up on the durian because they just went for a toilet break. I and it. I have just gone through a high percentage of this. And he's just opening up the rest for us, this lovely man. And yeah, each really pod good. just tastes like, some of them are way thicker, aren't mm -hmm, they? Some of them mm -hmm. thinner, silkier, sweeter, mm -hmm. pungent. From the same one. Mm -hmm. We yeah. are in love. <laughs> and yeah, if you didn't know, durian is one of the most highly prized fruits in the world. There's so many fruit vessels just dedicated to durian only. Many different places. And you either love it or you don't. But if you don't like it, try a different variety than the one you tried that you didn't like. Get one that's high quality. Get someone to pick one that they know might be suitable for you and that's of good quality. This one that I just picked up. Look at that. Oh, dude, that is. Like, that is a sign it's A, A, A. Quality. That bitch you just fed me. It's like coffee. Caramel. As they would say in Canada or America. In England you say caramel. Mm. Is that one going to be good? Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. try it. Mm. Same pot. The last bit of me saying king. We done pretty much most of it, except this last little bit. And she needs to finish it, but she's like, no, I can't finish it. <laughs> I'm at my end. Okay, let's see if I can force my throat to swallow it. Yeah, she said a <laughs> shut-up point is when she's full, what happens? <laughs> my throat just won't swallow it. It will just literally I'll try and make a swallow, and it won't. Yeah, I've never heard that before. Let's see if this happens again. <gasps> I made it swallow. I felt a little bit of resistance. <laughs> It's actually, mmm. This is a pretty good trooper. It's pretty good. Mm. Mm. Nice, mm -hmm. good job. That's all the empty shells in there. And I'm going to get some ice cream. Mm. Are you going to get any ice cream? I think I might get one bar. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he likes big bites of ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> I'd suck the ice cream. I'd buy the ice cream. We suck it. I got the ice cream too. Mm. And actually, it's the best when you leave it for a few minutes to melt. Mm -hmm. Got the blue light blocking shades on to make it so I can fall asleep later on. This is my fourth one. How many did you have? Three. Four, four. how many did you have? You had two. Doing pretty well. After you get full from durian, I find that I can move on to these and keep eating and eating and eating. And getting these varying tastes. Some of them were really, really strong, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some were strong and this some. Mm. Not as strong as the last one you had. You yeah, were well, not like that one you gave me a minute ago, which actually tasted of cheesy puffs. Is that what you yeah. call them in Canada or America? Cheesy puffs. Yeah, I we, think so. We call them Cheetos. Cheetos, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Or if it's South Park, it's cheesy puffs. But <laughs> one is a greedy gannet. Look, she just <laughs> got another durian. It was her choice. She was forcing me to eat it, making me. She said, "You must eat more." Uh huh. <laughs> I feel sick. She's making me feel sick. Oh, you like it. Mm, I like it. <laughs> I think you like it too. Mm -hmm. I thought I was done. Mm, that was really good. And here comes um, another. Oh, wow. Look at that one. Ooh, that one is I like... I love the way that I that, It's a bow. Yeah, it's a bow. It's a bow.
Well, that is it from us. We are all done. We're going to end the vlog there and just rest till bedtime. So are we going to catch taxi? Go back. Yeah, it's past bedtime. She goes to bed early too, just like me. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And leave your comments, questions, anything else down below. And stay tuned for more vlogs and other videos from me in the near future. Peace.